Hello. In the previous video, we discussed how to solve systems of equations in general and with MATLAB commands specifically. Here, we look at a neat application, fitting a curve through specified points. If I am given two points, what is the simplest curve that can pass through both of them? It is a straight line. I can fully define all points on this line just from the information provided by these two points. Extending this idea, if I am given three points, what is the simplest curve that can pass through all of them? It is a parabola or a second order polynomial. I can fully define all points in this parabola just with the information provided by those three points. This idea can be extended to any order of polynomial. As long as I know enough points, then I can define a curve. Enough points would be one more than the order of the polynomial. Our application demonstrated here is with a parabola, so I am given three points. I will then apply the general formula for a parabola shown here. The goal will be to identify the unique set of a, b, and c values that pass through all three ordered pairs. To do this, I will create a system of three equations by plugging in the ordered pairs to the general equation. This is what it looks like. Notice that I move the output y to the other side of the equation, just so the general equation aligns better with our structure. Where does this 9 come from? It is 3 squared. I substituted the given x value into the general equation. How about the 3? Same idea, but now the x value is unmodified. C is not multiplied by x at all, so C appears on its own. Finally, the 7 comes from substituting in the current y value. I simply repeat the substitution separately for all three ordered pairs. Now I have a system of three equations and three unknowns. This can be solved using the same steps we have already covered. First, I create matrix A and vector B. Then I solve as inverse of A times B. This produces this vector, which lists the values for A, B, and C. Now I simply substitute those results into the general equation. I did a little bit of rounding for the sake of brevity. This shows just one of many examples of the usefulness of applying systems of equations.